Hey y'all, we are still cutting out and cleaning up from Idalia. And uh, I have more stupid moments than I normally have. I've, I have many stupid moments, but I had a good one. And I went to change out the blade, or excuse me, the chain on the chainsaw, which was stretched beyond uh, tightening anymore. And when I pulled the cover off, I pulled it off with the uh, chain brake engaged. So uh, let me show you a, a way that we can fix that uh, and uh, hope that you find it uh, useful in a similar situation should you find yourself in it. So what I have done is common if you're in a hurry and you aren't paying attention. I have taken the cover off with the clutch brake engaged. Which means that I cannot put this back on over this right here without loosening this up first. Now, there are a couple of ways I know to do this and one of them is not available to me because this on mine is kind of ward out. I cannot force this on and engage it. So I'm gonna have to use another method. Before I do that, what I wanna do is just take this apart and show you what's going on here and it'll make real good sense. There's four screws that hold this cover here on and this isn't something that you will need to do. You won't need to take this off. I'm just doing it so we can see what's going on. Okay. When you engage the clutch brake through this handle here, and it is pulled back this way, it stops the chain from being able to move. So this little gear, or this little camming system, has been pivoted that direction. It's been cammed back like this and in this lock position. When it's being pulled back like this, it tightens this ring here up, this uh, lock. It's a, a piece of flat wire or flat strap. What we need to do is to cam this thing back clockwise, which pushes this forward which opens this back up. Like I said, on mine, mine's a little bit on the worn side. And a thing that people can do is to put this cover back on here and force it in and tighten it over. Anyway, so what we need to do is we need to have a way to, again, can this over clockwise, loosen this back up so we can install it back on the chainsaw. Right, one of the meth methods that uh, is used, it's probably the most common method. It's, I guess it's for people whose chainsaws are in better shape. is you put this back on. Of course, it's not gonna fit over this, so you're gonna have it angled a little bit. What you wanna do is put it in position and then press down really hard on this right here and find it where it locks in to the gearing here and then pop it back forward. Mine won't do that because mine is worn in here. This is plastic. This is metal, metal's gonna win. It isn't gonna wanna turn. So another method, what I have to do with this when I have my stupid moments, we're gonna use a wrench. And what we do, we just put the wrench in here like this. 
get us a screwdriver and make sure you get one that your dog has found and chew the end off of. These, these are great chew toys. Put it in there. Put this in. You're gonna have to hold this tight and you're gonna twist and cam over. Okay, here we go. Trying to stay out. <laughs> All the way the camera, I'm sure you got to hold this tight, get this in position, and you want to torque it over. There you go. But you don't want to throw it like that. But see how it's cammed over now? And this is tight. After you get it back, open back up, where it can be installed, make sure this is in a position where it can accept this. Put it back down. And get back into business. Get it reinstalled. Check and make sure you got it working right. There it is, disengaged. Engage, ready to go. Well, that's it. We should be ready to roll now and uh, get back to cutting. Uh, like many of these videos, you see, I, I get dressed for the occasion. Uh, I'm out working. I do something if if I can, uh, and something comes up where I think it might be helpful to somebody. I'll stop what I'm doing, get the camera out, and do a quick video. So uh, these things, like many times, they are just on the spot. Let me video to fix or how to do something and and get back to work. So uh, again, w when you're doing that. Uh, if you're using that wrench to get that uh, uh, thing uh, cam back over and tightened up, you shouldn't have it flying off like mine did. Remember, I'm holding it with one hand, torquing it with the other. Uh, you can, and try to stay out of the way of the camera, mm -hmm. you could use your feet, anything, you, or a vice, anything to help hold that thing in place, and you could use two hands, one on the wrench, one on the screwdriver, and when you're turning it over and it cams, nothing's gonna go flying anywhere. You'll have both of them in your hand. That's just from me trying to do something by myself and in a hurry to explain it to y'all. So anyway, as usual, I really do appreciate y'all for stopping by. I hope that you found this useful. And if you find yourself in a stupid situation like I found myself in, knowing better and did it anyway, uh, maybe this will help you uh, get out of it and understand kind of what's going on and it's not the end of the world. So as usual, thanks again for stopping by and good luck with your projects.